guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to do a September and October favourites and the reason why I am combining the two is because it was a bit of a weird one September, I'm not going to lie. It was a bit all over the show, it was really hot one end and then really cold the other. So I, I had a mixture, I didn't know if it's going to come useful to you guys, but long story short, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to combine the two and I've made this quite a big one. So I have a mixture, a massive mixture of fashion and products. Actually as well, some of the products I have had for years and I'm wearing them again for through winter for another year and I think that's really key especially for trying to be a bit more conscious I'm not going to lie there are a few things which are brand new and I have been loving and I think I will be having in my wardrobe for the rest of time I hope that you guys enjoy this so first off let's start with beauty products so let's start off with skincare so as you can see now I've popped up all my skincare that I've been loving so this is a mixture a really big mixture and let's start off with makeup remover so this is the Ren clarifying clay cleanser and I was introduced to this at the beginning of October and I have been obsessed and my skin has really done well with it I've just seen such a difference in my skin as it's a clay it's not too oily it's really really good for skin which is very sensitive so I'd highly recommend this at first when I thought of a clay a clay cleanser is like how how would this do it but it actually picks up the dirt so much and really gets into your pores so I really adore this I haven't used much of it actually I thought I have but but it lasts for a very long time but no I've been absolutely adoring this I do two to three pumps over my face and then I cleanse with my second favorite of the two months <laughs> monthly favorite which is halo they have brought out these halo facial reusable cotton pads I am obsessed and out of all of the makeup removing products I use I adore this the most this really works I love the size of it I love how small it is really good for traveling really notice difference when removing my makeup with these and I just love these these are so good I will leave everything down below in the description I so what I do is do two to three pumps of this first it was with no water I just really massage into my face and then I put a bit of warm water over the top just to make it milky and then I go in with this when I dampen it with warm water and I really take my makeup off and these are incredible I use these two to three times and then I put them in with a white wash a towel wash a bedding wash you can put them in with any color but obviously it's white so it go that color so if you're not bothered about them then they can go in any wash so yeah so I absolutely absolutely adore this and would 100% recommend. Not only are they just really good for my skin that I've noticed, but they're really good for the environment. Very worth the investment because they are actually in the long run cheaper because these last a very long time instead of topping up on your one use cotton pads. These are really good and these are saving the environment as well. So saving you money and saving the environment. Next up is from Hum and I received these in the Revolve monthly subscription in September and have been obsessed and I love these I've really seen a difference when I've missed them I'm like no I need these so badly these are so good you take two a day these are pre and probiotics these are vegan gluten free so yes yeah, so I've seen such a difference and I think that's been really helpful for my skin as well and just my natural health I've just seen such a difference and really obsessed I'm actually getting a little bit low so I need to stock up soon so yeah I thought I would add these in to my favorites next it's quite this is quite new to me I went to a meeting with Lancome a couple of weeks ago I actually haven't used the brand before and I was introduced to the advanced Genifique serum and this is the youth activating concentrated serum I've been putting it on in the morning at night time and also during around like four o'clock the lovely lady Harriet one of the PR girls she told me about if you feel like your your foundation's feeling a bit dull and dry around four o'clock it's really good to just kind of like pat this on and like rejuvenate it and oh my god does it like <gasps> I'm gonna have obsessed. It's so good. So but it has a pump in it, and that's the amount you need to put just on your face. To be fair, I use one to two pumps, one on my neck and one on my face. I am obsessed. This is a game changer. My skin feels so rejuvenated and just so like 
it feels like it holds in the moisturiser in as well and yeah and I'm absolutely loving that. Whilst we're onto skin I thought I would go in with hair and again when I did my beauty haul and I also did a hair tutorial I was talking about a Quiss hair towel and this has changed my hair immensely. This is designed to look after your hair after washing it. Your hair is very vulnerable when you have wet hair so putting a normal towel on it really damages the hair cuticles and and this is designed to protect that and also has technology in it which will help defrizz, dry it 50% quicker and all in all this is just a very hair protective towel. I really love this, I think it's really good. I got this from Revolve, this was kind of gifted to me but I would 100% recommend. It dries really quickly as well. You can also get it on, on Amazon and I believe they were unique I think. I will leave some links down below and whichever is easier for you. Yeah just do that but I've been loving it. I have just seen such a difference in my hair as well. This is actually, how long have I had this hair done for? I haven't washed my hair in like four days so that is very new to me because I usually wash my hair pretty much every day so yeah no, I've seen such a difference and I really adore this coming away from skin and hair let's go into makeup and one of my things that I have been absolutely loving and have taken everywhere with me and it's just the worthy investment is this travel cosmetic bag from Space MK. You can get this in, this is the coral orange, you can get it in baby pink, baby blue, black and I feel like there's another colour but I cannot remember. But I really love the coral, I just love that pop of colour. They are £24, they are also certified and authorised at the airports so you know when you go for the airports and you have to get all your liquids out and put them in that plastic bag. This is certified so if you have all your liquids in this and they have to be under 100ml then you can literally just put it in. You don't have to take them out and put them in a plastic bag. This is just ready to go which is just so great, very handy and at first I was like I'm not going to fit anything in here. Believe me, these are so compatible. This is literally just, you can fit so much in here. It's pretty much, I have more than the products that I need on my face. I've just got extra bits and bobs in here. I really want to get one for my brushes as well, just to go with it. But yeah, no, absolutely loving this bag and 100% would recommend. Really good for presents as well, if you're looking to get a present for your friend. I just think it's really good. Only £24, so worth the investment. And yeah, no, absolutely love that. So that's from Space NK. So I have free makeup products I have been absolutely adoring. I have kept to my normal makeup routine but I have been loving these pieces and a lot of you question about the like my highlighters I use and this is something I have added along and this is the NARS Orgasm Illuminating Powder. This is a loose powder so you have to be really careful. I'm actually going to show you how I deal with it. So it is a blusher and it is very messy so be careful but what I use is I just literally use the pan on my brush and because it is very pigmentated so you have to be very careful and I think that's the safest option just to use the pan and I do my blusher first, my normal blusher, then my bronzer and then I put this one over the top. I will leave my IGTV of my everyday makeup down below as well. But now I've just seen such a difference and I just, it literally lifts my cheeks up. It's kind of like a, kind of like a facelift but oh my god, I have been obsessed with this. So many people have questioned about it at the moment because they're like, what are you using on your skin? And this is, this is my, this is my baby. I absolutely love this. I am a sucker for a blusher. I just think it gives such a nice lift and like colour to your skin, makes you really glowy and healthy. Yeah, no, I absolutely love that. So that is my definite, one of my absolute favourites. Next is lipsticks. And first off, I love this one. It's by Illamasqua. This is the Loaded Lip Polishes and this is in the shade Vogue. I did a autumnal makeup tutorial a couple of videos ago and I used the shade Spice but Vogue has been in my bag 24-7. Absolutely love the colour. I'm actually wearing it now. It's just this really nice subtle pink. It's got quite a brightness to it but it is really lovely and I love it and when it sinks into your lips it leaves a really nice tint on your lips and Love the sculpting brush, really good. The next one is from Iconic London. This is a new one, but I am obsessed. I've only had this for just over a week. And again, it has been in my bag. I just go from one to the other. I actually did, I did a paid collaboration with them. I just wanted to make that clear over on my Instagram stories. This is not paid, this is just 
genuine. I love this. I love the shade. This is their lip plumping glosses. This is the shade Do Not Disturb and oh my god I love it and when, when I think of a plumping gloss I just remember of that sticky tacky lip gloss when I was like seven which was like really tingly and you, you and your friends would just put it on for fun. Um, <laughs> I did that a lot with my friend Amber. We honestly we were just so obsessed. It was so funny. I don't know what we thought was gonna happen but it was just quite amusing. But this is nothing like this. This has actually got quite a like really nice like refreshing coolness to it. Like really minty. Really love that and it feels just really refreshing. It's really it's really fresh. Um, but yeah no I did a my stories on this and I absolutely love these. These come in six different shades and I believe they're under £20 and I just think that's really good especially for a day to day lip gloss. These are really light as well and I just love the shade of this. I also love Barely Nude and also Sex Kitten which is a very weird name and yeah no, I love these so I again will leave a link of this down below as well. Next up is perfumes and nothing different just I have gone into the autumnal winter season and Finding I've been loving different fragrances or reconnecting with my favourite, favourite perfumes. And the first one is Bloom by Gucci and I have loved this for so many years. I believe this is my fifth year now. Every year my, my mum gets this for Christmas and I have been loving it. It's just really elegant, really fresh, but it's got this really like, like really nice like warm, mature, warm, kind of warm, sophisticated, woody tone to it, but it's really fresh. It's lovely. How many word times am I gonna say fresh in this video? But no, I absolutely adore this and it's a massive favourite of mine. I got this after Loving Daisy, which was from Marc Jacobs, and oh I just love this smell so much. It's like a really elegant floral tone. I think if you're gonna like like Coco the likes of Coco Chanel perfumes, then you would definitely love this one. Next is from Zara, and I was introduced to Zara when I went to Paris with Clarence in February, end of February, beginning of March, I wanna say. Maybe it was March, and India and I were very kindly invited by Clarence to, to represent this product and oh my god this fragrance is beautiful. They do a, ma a male collection as well and it's just, this is the Wanted Girl. This is the Wanted Girl and oh it's just, this is very much between my, my Gucci perfume and my Salvatore Ferragamo one. It's a really light but woody, like really woody tones to it. It's just really quite unisex as well which I quite like about it but no yeah absolutely love that. Running out but luckily I do have some on the way. So next up is fashion. So let's go into shoes and bags first and then I will go into the clothing. So first up again I got these last year for my birthday. These are the Doc Martin Jaden platform shoes I want to say. I am obsessed. I am a massive fan of a chunky boot and I have actually been looking into the Prada boots because they just look so good but I'm being restrained because I do have chunky boots already and I don't actually need them and I don't need to invest <laughs> into them because they are quite expensive but yeah anyway these are my Doc Martens from my birthday last year so they've done very well and they still look very brand new because this the quality of Doc Martens are just incredible. I know a lot of people who've had them for millions and trillions of years. Really like what I like about this is you don't actually have to tie it up at the front. These have zips, these have zips, so really good for an in and out of course, but and you don't have to go through the laces. So you should just tighten up on the front. Have been loving them, make me look about very much taller than I originally am. I'm five foot three or four, I can't remember. These make me six foot. And I love it. But no, I really love these and they just go with all my outfits. I wear them into summer, I've been wearing them at festivals. I'm not gonna lie, they are a little bit heavy and I am looking at getting a smaller level of the shoe which hasn't got the platform in it just for everyday use as well. But yeah, no, I absolutely love that and really good quality. Next up are these boots and you've probably seen them a lot over on my Instagram channel. These are from Zara and these are just over the knee. These are £119. I always really like to invest in two shoes just because I want them to last for a long time and I don't really think these will. I actually had a pair from Zara which sadly I had to part with only a month ago. I haven't actually worn them for years but I bought this pair of painted Zara like sock boots when I started university and they were the best shoes in the whole entire world. Like they were, they were like, I wore them to death and I just couldn't part ways with them and I was absolutely obsessed with them, absolutely adored them. 
but unfortunately I wore them to pieces that they ended up in pieces and I kept them in a box for like two years I think yeah they were just sitting in my wardrobe I couldn't part from them because they were just so beautiful and I said to myself the day when Zara brings them back I will buy two pairs because I adored them but they still haven't brought them back which is really sad so maybe hopefully they'll bring them back this year but anyway from that I purchased these knee high boots from Zara just so classic so gorgeous quite high actually they've got quite high heel but very walkable but have absolutely been loving pairing these with little dresses with leggings tights just really good boot for this season and also going into spring as well just absolutely adore these and worth the investment next up is a bag and it's just a very very beautiful bag let me just zip it up this is from coach and i got this from zalando which is a online website like asos and they stock the likes of coach to Chloe, Topshop, the Couples, they just have everything. Mango, River Island, so another really good online website similar to ASOS. But I got this, I guess it's a bum bag, but I've been wearing it over the shoulder like this or over my body like this. I think it's a really good travel bag. Brings out really nice colour of a brown. I just love this brown, it's so warm. And I've actually just been loving how it's a bum bag. I just think that's a really nice style. Love the logo print of it and I believe it was only £175, which I think is a really good price. Um, I actually thought coach bags were so much more expensive, but yeah, no, really happy with this. You will see this going into every outfit over time, over season, and I just think it's a really nice colour, especially I have quite a lot of black bags, and it's just really nice to lift up the outfit with this instead of just going straight for black. Next is a pair of trousers, and these are from Zara. These are only £19. 99 and I have ordered another pair because unfortunately I would have kept this pair but the zip is just gone I still wear them though it just takes me like 10 minutes to get in them because the zip is just ruined I purchased these really quickly um, when before I was going out maybe a month ago me and my boyfriend were going out and I did, wasn't dressed for the occasion I needed trousers and I was just still in the dress mode but no and so I just ran into Zara and just chucked these on and they, they, these were the only ones they had. I actually got these in a size extra small. They're quite like a slouchy fit but I just love these so much and I actually quite like that they're a slouchy fit. They're not tight because or leather trousers can get really hot because they're very well insulated but no absolutely love these. Really good for dressing up, dressing down, pretty much wear these every day but I have been loving them. I just think they really make an outfit. They really dress up a casual look. They just look really chic and elegant and very flattering on my legs so yeah massive love for these. Next Next up is a coat and I'm sure you've seen this again on my Instagram. I have been loving this coat and very kindly I was gifted this by Revolve. This is a Le Academy. Yep, a Le Academy branded coat on the Revolve website. It's this really nice black patent oversized boxer coat with a really nice quilted like silky cotton on the inside and then this really nice faux fur collar which is detachable it's got these really nice like boxy pockets on the side and then a cinched in waist leave a video here of wearing it and also i will leave down below how to style it i have been loving doing this on instagram instead of showing you numerous amount of new clothing new coats and everything that like, i've been doing a one product styling video and you might have noticed that i have so many of the same products or garments in it so I'll be styling this coat with the same dress I'm styling a blazer or a jumper i have just really tried to encapsulate my wardrobe and create an edit which will be very timeless and then give you guys the opportunity to wear an outfit time and time again I don't want to be so new numerous of tops and trousers and things like that I know that I get a lot of clothes because it's my the nature of my job fortunately for me I, I do receive quite a lot of gifting just because at the end of the day I'm in brand advertisements so that is my career Career. so for me I do get quite a lot but I want to make sure it's very timeless that I share products to you that I adore and have a use of them for like many many occasions and just not the one off and that I genuinely love anyway rambling on but yeah I'm absolutely loving this especially for the rainy season really warm as well and absolutely have been loving this and just such a nice piece I will like I said leave the IGTV here and the video here and then also the link which has the link to this this coat and the outfits I wore with it. Loving this and I believe it was $300, $400 and it's a really nice length as well just how it goes over your bum so it's a bit long lined which I love, I don't really like a boxy length 
coat, but yeah, no, absolutely loving it. Another coat, and it's actually the first time yesterday I posted a picture of it because I just haven't got around to shooting it, but I am obsessed, and this is my favorite winter coat. I actually think my friend, <laughs> I think my friend Rob, he actually bought the coat, unless he's buying it for his girlfriend, but when I saw him on Sunday, he was genuinely like, I am buying this coat, I need, I can wear that coat, and to be fair, he could, because it's a really nice, like, unisex coat, it doesn't look very girly or feminine, it's like, very, like, that very, like, vintage vibe style, and I absolutely love it. This is from ASOS, I believe this is £95 or £75, I will leave it in the description below, but it's a plush faux fur khaki coat and I believe it's like a duster style and then it's got this like leather interior faux again and it's just this beautiful I don't know if you can see it in the picture but if you go onto the ASOS link then you can see it for its colour itself but it's this really just this absolute stunning colour it's just really rich in the colour as well it just looks so luxurious the quality is just impeccable like it's beautiful I actually have it in cream as well but I am so drawn to this one I'm obsessed and I just really love the fit of this I got this in a size a and true to size a little bit oversized as well which is perfect so you can fit in jumpers hoodies and keep layers on but I just think it looks so high quality I just absolutely love it I have two more pieces and then we are done so this is a shirt from Zara I actually have it in white as well but it's currently in the wash so I can't show you but again really affordable as well and I have been loving and have actually ordered it a again because the white one I stained so I needed to get a new one but this is a Zara shirt dress I want to say but you can wear it over sh over jeans and as a dress as well really nice to have as as an item for daily wear for work for just during the day I like to style it with a jumper over the top with my leather leggings and also at night time been wearing it as a dress with my knee-high boots and just have been loving it so really nice these are £19.99 and these are free quarter lengths with a really nice like puffy balloon sleeve and it has buttons which come here I don't know if you can see it in the black but it's absolutely stunning and I have had so much love from this been wearing them on a numerous occasions and have been absolutely loving these and is a massive staple to have in your wardrobe would really highly recommend and it's only £19.99 so it's something I have had so much use out of and have been drawn to wear in time and time again yeah really love this really would recommend and really flattering and I got it in an extra small they do come up quite big but no yeah absolutely love this wearing it with a jumper and a dress but yeah I will leave that on the side here it's probably here already but yeah last but not least this is a, another dress from Zara and this is a midi dress it's quite like a peplum midi dress with these really gorgeous puff sleeves I will leave another video on the side again and I am obsessed I believe it was £50 but I've had so much wear out of this I have been absolutely loving this I've been wearing this in the evenings and during the day again. It's a really good work wear outfit. I've been pairing it with trainers and a blazer or some boots and a blazer. Also with a coat, a jacket. Really loving this. And then in the evenings I've been pairing it with some little heels and a really nice, got a really nice like red Radley bag. And it just looks so sweet and very Parisian and very high quality and just very luxurious. I just love it. I've been really loving this. So I had massive wear out of this. They do have it in a white and and a beige, but I'm really not too sure. I just don't feel like, like it looks the same vibe as the black version does. It would be really nice also to wear with some boots and some tights for the colder season to come. And even a towel neck underneath that would look nice with like the long sleeves. It would be nice to even do like a colour or not a massive colour, maybe like a neutral colour or a like, I'm trying to do the bottom up, black glittery towel neck. But no, I've been absolutely loving this and I think it might still be available. So if it is, I will leave it down below. But if it's not, I will leave a similar version. I think that's all I have. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. I've got some more things to show you. So my favourite, favourite jewellery piece of the moment and of course you know I absolutely adore my rings. These are, the moon one is from SVP and then I've got the Monica Veneda signet rings on and, and another SVP ring which has got these really gorgeous coloured gemstones. But I have been adoring my daisy necklace. This is the goddess one. This is in collaboration with Estée. Estée Londe. It's L-O-N-D-E. Um, beautiful 
beautiful. You love her content and she's such a lovely girl. Well, I haven't met her, but she seems lovely. <laughs> um, and she done a collaboration with Daisy Jewelry and I was very kindly gifted a piece and I chose this necklace. We'll do a close up now, but it's absolutely beautiful and I just love the style of it. I love the chunkiness and just so different. Chunky necklaces are very in at the moment and I am completely with it. I just think that this is absolutely gorgeous and hugely obsessed with it. Um, so yeah, so that was it. Next thing, beauty wise, I have been loving my eyelashes. My lovely friend and my beautician, Nancy, she does my lashes. She is Nancy Miles underscore, I will leave, leave her in the link below. She is Brighton and Hove based, so if you are in this area, then please check her out. She's incredible and just such a lovely girl. So I've been loving to get my eyelashes done, just on a day to day basis, just so much more handy and just very handy when I've got very early starts and I don't need to put on too much makeup and also as well I used to put on fake eyelashes every day which is the bane of my life. Very very handy and make my morning quite a lot easier. So yeah, so yeah guys that is it. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any further questions please let me know and comment down below or come and message me over on Instagram. I will leave my Instagram down below as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I inspired you. If you haven't already, please subscribe and give this video a like. It really supports my channel and makes me know that you like these. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you next time. Bye!